to Dr. Stephen Hawking. When you're part of a film which is depicting people who are living, the stakes suddenly get like a level higher. When Stephen came, we were shooting the Mabel scene, and this was this huge extravaganza. Bravo. <laughs> when Stephen arrives, it's amazing because the icon of the silhouette of Stephen in his wheelchair is so known. We were doing a scene where Eddie and I are just walking and talking, and on one side of me, I could see just from my peripheral vision, I could see Stephen, and on the other side, I could see Jane. And it was the most surreal experience and just a little bit intimidating to have two people who you're trying to inhabit in some way watching what you're doing. Ladies and gentlemen, can I have your attention for one moment, please? I have the great pleasure and honor to introduce you to Professor Stephen Hawking. He was there for this long night of shooting. And I think that's when he realized what we were doing was of a certain scale. It wasn't a little kitchen sink drama. We were really trying to make this big canvas of his story. And also, of course, it raises the stakes for Eddie again, because he has to not only perform for us and for the camera, but to Stephen. I felt an amazing mixture of great trepidation and wonderful pride that he had come to visit. I was rather surprised that a major film company should want to make a film about me. The May Ball scene was spectacular, especially the fireworks. One of the first items in my memoir is a reminiscence of a May Ball that Stephen and I went to. This is being recreated this evening here in Cambridge, which is an extraordinary thing for me to be witnessing. Will you dance? Stephen has a look in his eye, he pays attention and he concentrates and you know that he's evaluating everything in a very smart way. It makes you raise your game too, you, know, you want to make sure that this feels as it should feel.